Howdy boys and girls. Figured I'd make a little video, a little, uh, I guess an update on an update video. When I, uh, when I posted that video about that Ford, the 99 Ford with a, you know, broken down engine, it was more of an update video for you guys, just, you know, for you curious folks out there that are curious what happened to that Ford. This last video, whew, excuse me, too early in the morning. The last video I ended up posting of that, prior to the making the last video, was it on a trailer getting towed. I think that was it. But anyways, one way or another, I'll let you guys know that the truck's being towed. Oh, rescue mission. That's what I did on that rescue mission little video. I, uh, I, I let you not, you guys know how I towed that car or that truck back from California, but that was it. So I figured I'd update you guys, and I was very surprised for the <coughs> for the outcome I've gotten. I wasn't, you know, expecting or waiting to hear from anyone anything. Hey, it might be this, might be that, but you know, I'm happy to hear that you guys care and you're willing to share your opinions and thoughts on it. So figured I'll make a little video and uh, clarify that up a bit. How far I went and what I've done. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a sore throat. Anyway, so the thing is, I went as far as, uh, well, not as far. There's a few things I did. The conclusion I made was a head gasket. And I also missed to say the, the cups, the injector cups. But I've, um, I've considered the oil cooler. And I really don't think it's the oil cooler because when we went to pick up that truck, it was in the oil level was in the medium, so middle, you know, between low and high. So because it because of that oil level, that's why I'm, you know, refraining from saying it's the oil cooler because I'd have cooling in my oil. So that can't be it, which, to my opinion. You know, in my understanding, most likely that's what happened. But because of the oil level is maintaining its level, I really don't think that's it. Next thing, you know, um, could it be the O-rings on the injectors? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Which falls up to the next question, you know, that, that truck started getting uh, abnormal oil usage in the last week or two, so... I think something was going to go down. I just wasn't expecting this to go down. Um, I was thinking it was just uh, regular wear and tear. You know, the piston rings are getting, getting all worn out. You know, just the physics of it being on the side all the time. What I mean on the side of the V-shaped engine, you know, V8. It's not your inline six where gravity itself, you know, keeps things balanced. And, and not 100%, but you know what I mean. You got up and down motion versus, you know, 90 degrees. Maybe it's not as 90 degrees, but it's that ballpark. Just the nature of itself, you're going to have one where you're going to have one side worn out more than the other, which in my just personal understanding, you're ovaling out the, the pistons, not the pistons, the, the walls. Ovaling out the piston holes. Man, I can't think today. Anyways, so that's what I was thinking was going on with the oil consumption, but I wasn't expecting it just to go kaboom. Like the driver said, he was driving and all of a sudden it went kaboom and just shut down on him. Shortly after, I told him to check his fluids and try to start the truck, and the truck started, but a matter of uh, I don't know, 10 seconds and it died out. So, you know, it sees no. Boom is most likely the starter because when we even there when I try to jump start it, I'll try to start the truck and um, it wouldn't it would act like it seized, you know, but then it starts smoking really bad on the right front right side. So well, maybe some wires worn out or just the starter shorted out and sure as heck but once we brought it to the shop, you know, I can tell you the starter is shorted out. So, just maybe, you know, when that coolant was spraying in there, shorted out the relay. So the relay decided it needed to pop its nose in there while the engine's spinning, and maybe that's where the driver heard a kaboom, you know, but we'll see. been by my shop a lot of times. Hard working guy, man. Anyway, 
is, so that's that, you know? What else did I, what was I thinking it might be? And that's the reason I'm, I'm saying head gasket, or, I mean, it might be the, the cups, but at the rate that it disappeared, you know, just 10 minutes prior to the engine shutting down, it says he's at a rest stop or a rest stop or a gas station, something, something along the lines of that. And he checked his fluids, topped off his coolant a little, and you know nothing abnormal. So for for the coolant just to go kaboom, it's very unlikely. You know. Also, we did turn the engine over by hand, and I mean you can't hear anything abnormal in there. You know, brake compression resistance. I mean, seems just fine. Everything's normal. So, I know the head gasket's very unlikely, but in my case, it has to be something with the combustion chamber because, you know, I showed you rust in the tailpipe, therefore, it's spitting out coolant, spitting out water, but, you know, at that rate, wouldn't you think the engine would have uh, most likely busted a rod, you know, cracked the cylinder? opinion if it would crack a cylinder wouldn't the engine just be running crap I mean don't bump me for being an idiot but wouldn't they just think about it it's not holding its compression or same thing as a valve being jacked up or something just, you know you start missing and sputtering but you're not going to be burning through pool like a madman unless you uh, break the head gasket break the head gasket then yeah so there you have it guys, just want to let you know as far as I went and wanted to say thank you for trying to help me. I was very surprised for the, you know, the feedback I got and whatnot, so. Alright boys, that's that and uh, y'all behave, I'm going to go do what I got to do. And uh, keep on, come on, I hate this man. On a slippery day, getting a yell like that. Anyways, boys, <clears throat> I know, slow down, it'll be fine. Y'all have a good new year. Uh, be safe out there, and uh, blessings. Ciao, bye.